Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Romeo. I'm just back with a quick video. Um, I noticed I have some cyanobacteria. Um, probably just lack of husbandry, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I've been busy with life and, you know, battling the illness and everything else. So I haven't fully had time to, you know, clean the filters out good and gravel vac the sand and you know we'll do water changes so i mean i'm not mad at all i have cyano i mean <clears throat> just part of the reef reef life i guess so yes this is cyano the red bacteria as you can see there that's not coralline that's that's actual cyano and it's on this rock um it's back there on that rock it's up here on my archway um, is really right here. <clears throat> I have a little bit between the hammer. Um, I have a little bit up here. <clears throat> Back there. Um, and I have a little bit there. So what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> um, I mean I know I know the routine. Gotta get a nice water change done and siphon as much of it as I can out. Turn my MP10s up. Um, yes, even back there, my other archways up there. It's over there. So I mean it's just, I mean it's just a bacteria, you know. It's, it's a quick fix using, you know, some of the commercial items like ChemiClean or Phosphate RX, I mean not Phosphate RX, ChemiClean and Red Cyano RX by Blue Life. And that's what I'm going to use. Um, I mean, there's no mystery why I have the Cyano. I mean, my phosphates are probably high as ever because I feed flake food because I'm in a hurry to hurry to leave the house and, you know, don't have time to throw out any food and all that so been giving flake food a lot to keep the fish nice and fat and healthy say hi guys okay so i mean yeah it's not like i'm gonna sit up here and say oh my god i don't know why i have cyano i mean oh my god what's going on i mean i leave the lights on too long because once i leave sometimes i stay out all you know a long time dealing with the illness so i come back and the lights are on all night I know my phosphates are sky high because I feed fake flake food. Um, my gravel and my sand, you know, has some diatoms and this and that, which I'm going to have to take care of. So I'm not going to change any water right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red cyano RX. To get rid of the cyano I have already, do a big 25% water change, get the filters cleaned out, uh, gravel vac the sand, and add some uh, either some phosgard or some chemipyr blue to soak up the rest of the phosphates I have. Um, took the skimmer off because it was just. I don't know, this tank that I have, I have it too close to the wall, and the skimmer vibrates on the wall, and, you know, the tenants are complaining that all day long it sounds like somebody using a vibrator. I mean, they have vibrations. <laughs> so, uh, I had to take the skimmer off for a second. And, yeah, as soon as I did that, Cyano just took hold. It's even on my little rock tower there. So... <clears throat> I mean, people see cyano and they get worried. Oh my God, what I'm gonna do? I have this bacteria. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. Um, first thing, stop panicking. You know, people see things in a reef hobby and they, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Or you know, a coral closes up like this leather. You know, he makes the leather so mad that the leather sometimes are closed up for a few days, and he pouts like he's doing now because the leather don't want to extend and play with him. He's a big, just a big baby. That's all he do all day. So, I mean, coral is going to close up if they're not happy. And people get panicky and get on these forums. Oh, my God, my coral is dying. What should I do? First thing, relax. You know, if you get 
hair algae, just relax. I mean, it's a part of the reef hobby. One thing these new reefers do, they get on these online, look at these forums, and they see these experienced reefers with these beautiful tanks. They look at their tank, and all of a sudden they're discouraged, and they want to jump out the hobby because their coral closed up, or they don't know what's going on. So, <clears throat> with that being said, just relax, you know. If you have cyano, just take the necessary steps to get rid of it, you know. Just do a water change, siphon out as much as you can. Clean your sand bed out, you know, gravel, just the top layer. If you don't have a deep one, see, I don't have a deep sand bed at all. Not at all. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, that's it. I mean, just 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 do what you got to do, you know. Makes the hobby much easier, less frustrating. Just do what you got to do. Do a nice water change. Uh, clean your filters out. Um, you know, just... Make sure you stay on a nice lighting schedule, not to have the lights up extremely high. Um, add some Fosgard or some GFO or even some Phosphate RX. Just whatever you got to do, just, just do it and relax. It makes the hobby much more enjoyable. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to use, and then I'll show the before and after. Well, you see the before. I'm going to show you guys the after. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, I didn't have any Kimi Clean laying around, but I did have some Red Cyano RX from Blue Life. So let's see what the instructions say. Um, fast acting, reef safe, would not discolor water. Okay, so. Um, the best results, siphon out as much cyanobacteria as possible from the aquarium. Remove one cup of water from your aquarium and mix with one level scoop of red cyano RX for every 10 gallons of true water volume in your aquarium. Dissolve thoroughly and pour solution to the aquarium. Okay, so when it says true water volume, that means if you have a 55 gallon tank, you're not going to have... Uh, 55 gallons of true water value because of course you're going to have rocks and that's going to displace some of the water you're going to have sand that's going to displace some of the water so if you have a 55 gallon tank and full of live rock and sand you're probably only going to actually have about 52 gallons of water i say between 49 and 52 gallons of water depending on how much live rock you have so uh one level scoop per every 10 gallons. You will need to discontinue the use of carbon, protein, skimming, ozone during the treatment of this. Do not dose in the evenings when lights are turned off. After desired results are visible, perform 25% water change and resume the use of carbon, protein, skimming, and ozone. If cyanobacteria is still visible, perform 25% water change or repeat dosage. Uh, best time to start treatment is in the morning when lights first come on. Also, it's important to perform 25%. Yeah, okay, I said that. All right, so let's get this open. I have the water. So let's see. Let's see in the box. Okay, so wow, that's really small. So one level scoop, one little level scoop per every ten gallons. Uh, every ten gallons of true water volume. Okay, so my clownfish breeder is fifty-five gallons. I have forty pounds of rock. Uh, 40 pounds, 42 pounds of sand. So I'm going to estimate I have about 53 gallons of water. Yeah, 53 gallons of water. So I'm going to get this mixed up and I'll let you know the results. 24 hours later. Okay, so this is 
24 hours after the first dose. I thought I was going to have to do two doses, but nah. As you can see, all the problem areas, the cyano is gone. Well, I'll say 98% gone. It was a big patch back there. That's gone. This is another bad spot up here. Gone. Um, the front, you can see where the rockers got real clean. So the cyano's gone up there. Um, my ledge up here is gone. And this rock is gone. So, all in all, I would say it's 98% eradicated. The rest, I'm just going to uh, take a fine toothbrush to the rock and and siphon up, uh, you know, any any leftover cyano. Sand bed is back, looking pretty decent. So this is 24 hours after using red cyano RX. Fish are back happy. Well, I guess he's thinking about a lot right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it definitely worked. Like I said, I use Blue Life Red Cyano RX. And it's like every piece of cyano that I did have is almost gone or is turning brown and going away. So I'm going to do a 25% water change, like the directions say. And in the process of doing that water change, if I see any sand or left over on the rocks, I'm just going to brush it off and quickly siphon it up and get it out of the system. I'm gonna put some Fosgard in here in the swamp. Well, yeah, put some Fosgard. I don't like GFO too much, so it's going to be probably some Fosgard and maybe some Kimmy Pure Blue just to, you know, get it cleaned up real quick. So that's that. Like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing.